Are you vegan? No, I'm not vegan. My sister is. Oh, is she? Ah, yeah. Chicken. Yeah. It's just We've got power in this, we can stop this from happening by stopping consuming the products. It's, it's hard what happens to them and they, they probably, they wouldn't want to eat it if they knew what happened. No, we're from a farm so we don't eat chickens, chickens and eggs like that so... Oh you don't? But you no. still eat them? I do, yes. Chickens are our friends, not food. Of killing an animal. Yeah, I what about for a living, you? Shoot animals for a dog. Uh, do you shoot animals for a living. Yeah, to eat. Right. You don't think animal cruelty is wrong, or? I hate animal cruelty. Yeah, I'm, I'm a massive. You know, I look at an animal. An animal to me, like I don't. I'm not saying I don't feel bad. When, when you shoot, so you're going against your nature. Absolutely, I don't feel bad. Yeah, of course. So isn't that so, isn't that saying something like that you shouldn't be doing it? Maybe like. Yeah. But you've been. You sort of might, might have been conditioned through. Um, you've been conditioned to think that it's normal and natural to shoot animals for food. Well, what have we been doing for 6,000 years? Yeah. We've been killing each other for 6,000 years too. Right. Does that make murder justified? No, absolutely not. So there's things that we've been doing traditionally that aren't morally okay. Like in, in the animal's eyes, like there's no there's no reason to do it. Like if we're so when an animal comes to you to kill you to eat, you're just going to go, yeah. mate, I'm all yours. Fair enough, mate. No, no, no. Animals try to kill you, you're allowed to defend yourself. But cows, chickens, pigs never hurt no one. Chicken never hurt no one. But we're, we're, we're breeding them into existence for the sole purpose of in, um, confining them against their will and murdering them. Billions. I mean, I'm talking 150 billion a year. Yeah. We kill that many fish that they have to measure it in tons. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just it's. We... And I do. I'm looking, I understand a lot. I do. But, yeah, and I'm like, if you don't need to go out and hunt, like you're not in the, you know. Well, what else am I going to eat? Go to the shop and buy food that someone else has gone out and hunted and killed. Well, you can eat someone plants. Else has and grown yeah. In the ground. And no one has to die for that. Well, you can greatly reduce but then the I deaths. Think we can, then we can take it down to the level that what the fuck the plant has feelings. How do you know the plant has feelings? Because it's scientific consensus that can't, plants aren't sentient. I mean, that, that, that is, there's, there's no scientist, rational scientist on earth that thinks that plants are sentient. Yeah, yeah. They, they don't experience subjective reality, they don't have a brain or a central yeah. nervous system. Like, animals clearly avoid pain and suffering. They show affection, they, they want to um, look after their young. You take a cow's calf away from her, she's distressed. They pine. Yeah, they, they pine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, um, you know, you know that these animals are intelligent, they're sentient. Yeah, if, you, if you've been a farmer, you've been around them, you yeah, know that absolutely. You know they, they can they have the capacity to be like our pets. Yeah, of Like a cow. Yeah, oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, our pigs are the pets. Yeah. We just think there's a better way. Mm. And that, look, I understand that. Like, we could, we could keep doing what we've been doing in the past, killing each other, killing animals, but if it's not necessary for our health or survival, we have supermarkets with fruits and vegetables and grains. You can be healthy without meat and, and dairy. I have another theory. Okay, yeah, that's fine. And what are you going to do with all the animals that are here on this planet? And we're still going to have to cull animals. We're still going to have okay. to get rid of animals. I fully understand that. You know, so you're saying, like, if we all went like, vegan, like, we'd have... Like we'd people have... are overpopulating the earth. If we don't kill animals or, you know, like, we have to kill wild. Once you have to to protect, yes, to your, protect your animals. the animals that you want yeah. to kill for your own yeah. benefit. But otherwise, aren't they all going to get out of? But what are those animals doing in your property f yeah, in the first food place? Because yeah, you sell the cars, they go to market. You're killing them. Yeah. You, you're making money off of their backs. Yeah. So we're saying that that is unnecessary. Yeah. There's things that happen in nature that we can't. You know, we should let nature be nature, and we can yeah. do things like if we. But wouldn't you say this is nature? I mean, hasn't it been nature no, for the last three well, thousand? Before Christ, if you believe in Christ. Factory farms. I'm not talking about that. We got, we got seven billion people. people. I don't believe in it. I hate them. Yeah. And like, I do believe in when an animal, you're going to kill an animal, that does not mean it's welfare yeah. and it's life up until when it dies should be horrible. I hate that. I hate animal cruelty. I'm not a fan of it. A bullet in the head in a happy cow is just as bad in a, as a bullet in the head in a cow that suffered their whole life. But it's not. They don't even know they're dead. But they know that they, they want to live. Know what's going to happen. But does that justify killing someone? No, Think about it. Like, if, if I killed someone and they didn't even know they died, yeah. would that make that, that act of murder but justified? Scientifically, okay, scientifically, you've got humans, you've got animals. 
So we got we got humans and we got dogs. Yeah, well, am I going to go around killing dogs? Well, they do in China. Yeah, it's not justified. We think it's morally abhor abhorrent in our yeah, society. We do because we treat dogs as our best friend. What? For them, it's their food. You go out north, the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders kill turtles. I've yeah. seen it happen. They eat them. I've eaten them. They kill dugongs. Yeah, that doesn't make it okay though. Just but because one society. Eating. Yeah, but what else we don't need. Eat up there? Oh well, we're not. I in mean, a... you have to have a little bit of bush tucker, etc. But what else is there? But are you in yeah, that situation? Are you in that si situation? No, no, but they are. Yeah. What so, else? Do you know what I mean? So there's, so let's just say so there's these jungle men. There's, instinct. there's jungle men that have to kill animals to survive. Yeah. But we're not jungle men. We're in so what's suburbia. So if we all turn freaking vegan, they're still gonna have to kill this lot. This is what they eat. But they're in they a different survive. situation. That, that's got nothing to do with it. Yeah, it does because no, we're in a like we're in a society where we can go to the supermarket and buy grains. Yeah, that someone's grown. And there's like using animal products, probably, etc., etc., etc. Yeah, but we'd move away from animal products if we weren't killing 150 billion a year. We wouldn't use their entrails and their feces to like fertilize crops. We wouldn't need to. We wouldn't what have we, all this what waste. Are we, well, what are we going to use to fertilize crops for the grain that people are going to have to eat? We can use an, another means of farming, veganic I mean, you've farming. You've got your fish bloody stuff, but that's still fish out of the ocean. You know what I mean? It's, it's never, it's never going fine. We can stop the cruelty and violence in our lives. But by I, I mean, I fully agree with the whole the factory farming and all that shit. I hate it. That pigs. Pig farming, I hate it. I don't agree with it. I, I do agree that. So, if we all want to eat meat, seven billion of us all want a steak sandwich, how are we going to do that with your method? I agree with the free range. Exactly. You know, we're feeding all the resources. He already told you all the resources that are going to feed these animals. There's no other way to do this. There's no environmentally sustainable way to do and this. And I do understand, like, we have overpopulated the world and it's only going to get worse. We've got I understand that, but that's 50, not... 56 billion land animals at the moment, that just for farm, just yeah. for food. Yeah. Like, this is this is what needs to happen so we can eat them. Mm. You know, we're saying it's totally unnecessary. Like, these animals are sentient beings. We're breeding them into existence yeah. for no other reason than to make money off their backs or to cut their head off and eat their bodies. Like. And then you know, it's in, not. I, I. In what world is this okay? Like. Yeah, but in what world is it okay to say you know 56 billion animals? How many people is involved in that? You've probably got 20 billion people involved in that in the industry worldwide. What are you going to do? With All them? the consumers. What are you do with their lives? With That's their, their life. livelihood. Well, they can my move farming. into. My grandpa cleared the land. My great grandpa cleared the land. Yeah. They came out on a boat as pumpies, cleared the land. But there's a victim involved, isn't there? But the victims how, are the animals. The yeah, but there's other things we could make money off. So, that, so what, where are you going to? So where are you going to put all these people? If we though? switch out the meat you industry, don't people to grow a vegan crop. Well, if we switch out the meat industry, there will be other um, industries that. Gonna be well, there will be plant-based meats now. They're making it out of um, soy and pea protein and all these other amazing plant-based proteins. How are they going to grow all these? We got amazing oat milk, rice milk, almond milk. How are they going to grow all these amazing? Well, we we managed to grow so billions of tons of crops to feed to the, all these animals. Yeah, with fertilizers, etc., etc. Yeah, there's other ways. There's alternatives though, like. We're saying it's complete. There's other ways of doing this that don't involve what we're doing now. What we're doing now is like any any sane, rational person would look at that and say, "I don't want to be a part of that." Yeah. But no one knows. Like, even like just shooting a cow in the head, like that act there makes you feel uncomfortable. And if you showed your children or showed some children that, we'd be like, "Oh, this is just nature." We wish, boom, we're just shooting this happy cow in the head. Like, here, you want to eat its body with us? They'd be like, "No." You'd have to hide that from them. You have to say, no, this is called beef, it's in a burger. It's a burger, it's fine. It's, it's, there's no violence in this burger. Like, we're lying to our children. That's why you tell them the truth. It's, it's the way of life, it's survival. You think it's okay to, to show children that shooting an animal in the head I is okay? I've it. seen it from when I can remember. No, I think that's, that's... And that's fine, that's fine, and I understand that. Look, if I went 20 years, the first 20 years of my life, and my parents had hit to me the fact that the meat that I was eating or buying, it hit to me the fact that, yeah, that animal has to get shot. That animal has to get killed. It grows up just to get killed so that you eat. Yeah. If that hit that to me and I got 20s of age to realise I would be absolutely I would probably doing be doing something but similar. Just because to this. we condition children to violence to make them think it's okay does not make the violence okay. But how is it violence? It's a bullet in the head it's dead. It's got no idea. A bullet in the head is violence. You'd have to agree with me on that. Come on. I don't know. In what other context wouldn't it be violence, a bullet in the head? But you don't kill another human to eat it. Some people do. What if we did? Would that make it okay if we started Actually, 
not very long that Mary's still doing it. There's a reason we don't shoot people in the head because we know that that person wants to live a life without suffering. We know that they deserve... So a human being. Yeah, so where do we draw the line? Animals are just worthless pieces of objects that we can just use and exploit and kill when at our... So we decide when their life ends. We do. You know, if I'm going to go anywhere where I'm going, the last thing I'm going to be worried about is the amount of animals I've killed. There is much bigger things in this world that I'm worried about. You don't think about animals? No, hell no. No, no I don't. Like, you know, I have my pets and I have my... You what know, if I shot your pets of... in the head and ate them? Yeah, I'd probably shoot you too. But why? Because they're my pets. But what if I was hungry? I'm close to them. But, so it, you only care about the animals that you care about, but not about the actual animal itself. You only care about yeah, your animals because so they make you... you have to make that disconnection. You have to. It's love. Yeah, That's it's... the way it goes. If I'm out in the bush and I have to look at an animal, I'm starving. I have to shoot an animal because I've got nothing else to eat. I'm yeah. not going to look and go, I'll pull you and leave it to be and starve to death. You don't, you're not in I'm that, si shoot it you're not in that it. situation though. But I am because I need to eat. But we're, we're vegan. I've been vegan for nearly four years now. Yeah, yeah, I I'm haven't had to go out and kill an animal to survive. I haven't. Yeah, and I, okay, and I want you to prove to me in that last four years that nothing to do with animals has gone anywhere near the food, vegan food that you eat. Well, that's and not that's, that's not reality, right? The reality is veganism is, is the least amount it is of harm. Reality. You want a world without animals. Okay, so I could either eat the vegan food yeah. and kill a bunch of animals on top of that, or I could try to minimise the suffering and violence in my life by causing the least fine. amount of harm. And if that makes you feel better, that's, so, that's amazing. That's really good. Well, it's not about me at the end of the day. Well, it is. It's about the amount of animals that go to slaughterhouses unnecessarily. The, the ones that are confined and put in trucks or shot in the head on farms. Yeah. Used for their skin. Yeah. I mean, what have we been doing for centuries? You've got to keep warm somehow. What have what we, we've, been raping and, we've been raping and pillaging villages for centuries. A lot of... A lot of Absolutely. Um, it's still going on. Yeah. Is it okay, though? No. We need to move past don't it. Find that. Don't find that. Okay. You'd think we'd need to move past it, though? Like, or do you want to stay in the... Oh, we're still stuck in it. We should be moving We've got it. We should be well moved. technology now. We're moving past it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We think there's a better way, and the, yeah, the way forward fine. is like. That's fine. Yeah. You don't agree? To a certain extent, I do. You don't agree with this, though? Well, I, I don't agree, I mean. You think that this looks bad? No, I think. Oh, yeah, I hate all that stuff. Like, yeah. I've worked, I, I know. Yeah. You hate it, but you still will buy the products. Like, if an animal is going to have a life, I want it to have a happy, healthy life until the stage that it dies, whatever that stage is. And I hope when it dies, it's a cruel, cruelless, it's not a harm. Like, it doesn't, doesn't even know what's going to happen. That makes you feel better inside yeah, your heart? It be. Because you, you agree that animals deserve a life without suffering? Oh, well, yeah. But they yeah, deserve yeah. a bullet in the head if we're going to eat them. Well, they, don't know what's happened. they haven't done nothing to they deserve that though. Happened. Yeah, but that doesn't. Yeah, true. We're on the same thing though. They don't yeah. know what's happened, so it makes it okay. Yeah. Okay. You you think that's cool? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I hunt. I have my gun license. I have a gun. I yeah. shoot. Animals ever suffer when you shoot them? No. You always get a clean shot every absolutely. single time. Absolutely. Headshot. It does. I don't even know what's happened. Yeah. Um, you could have got a vegan burger that night though. Yeah, I could have. But I don't live in the city, man. Yes. We have nothing vegan out there. Here's some yeah, more cool. information. Thanks, mate. All right. Do you ever think about it before you shoot that animal in the head? Have a think about, you know. Imagine if the animals had guns. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I wish they did. Yeah. Make it interesting. Yeah. Thanks right, for the conversation. I appreciate yeah, no, that. Yeah, sure. Sure. Good on you. Yeah. I won't find these girls anyway. You'll be vegan soon enough. <laughs>